My name is Peter Green. I'm a journalist. I've had about 15 years experience covering New York, and I am obsessed, like most people are, with food. I've been a business reporter, and I'm kind of obsessed with the business of food. So I had an idea. Uh, it's called Food Makers NYC. It's a, bi a weekly newsletter that will go free in inboxes of people in the food making industry in New York. It's got a mix, it launched this week. It's got a mix of original reporting and curated content. We had a 39% open rate. Uh, it focuses on scoops, business news, and solutions oriented journalism for people. There is business advice columnists, uh, Q and A's, things like this. Uh, this is an example of the first issue. Um, this is what's inside, so there's always a breaking news and feature lead, three questions for an industry expert, or you can see the rest of this, and the money would come from advertising in sponsor banner ads, help on ads, and classifieds. Um, why the business of food is a business proposition? In New York City, food preparation alone, that's without the restaurant industry, is a $5 billion a year industry, 20,000 jobs, on top of that, you've got 24,000 restaurants in New York City who are looking to source a lot of their food in New York. So there's a huge audience for a product like this. A lot of people in the business. This is a production line at a chocolate factory in New York. Oh, sorry, there's a typo here. It should say $240 million a year in chocolate exports from New York, if you can believe that. Um, but people in this business are challenged because they don't have information about the market. They'd like to know what each other are up to. They'd like to know about business opportunities. They are very open to sharing their information with each other. Um, but there's nothing out there that really gives them this information on a B2B basis in a readable format that goes into the cell phone or the smartphone of a busy person who's running around his factory or her clients all day long. Typical reader, just like a fellow I interviewed today, Mike, who's 65, runs a chocolate business in Brooklyn. Um, you can see what his business looks like and the feedback I've gotten so far, this is emblematic, a banker who I hope his bank will be one of the advertisers thinks there's definitely a demand for this. Um, other people in the industry, great need for this. Uh, where does the money come from? Sponsor revenue, uh, when we're up to full strength, $2,000 an issue per sponsor, help wanted, classifieds, and then one of the other big pieces is producing events around the food business for the community at which you get sponsorship, people may pay to attend. And we can also do branded content for people in the industry who need work on their own websites or other publications. Uh, how do I market this and build the community? Um, there are a lot of city agencies, trade groups, chambers of commerce that want to reach this market. They have agreed to work with me to get the word out. Um, I've been doing some Facebook advertising of looking for groups of uh, people in the industry, targeting influencers for retweets and forwards, going to events, and uh, holding sponsored events to establish market presence, maybe even have my own awards. Um, this is what the competitive environment looks like. None of them are focused on New York. Summary financial projections, this thing could scale up pretty big if you get, you could reach to 20,000 subscribers, that's my goal in three years, which would yield a very nice net profit. Overhead is absolutely minimal for this. Uh, next steps, uh, so I'm not pitching you all on the advertising opportunity, so what I've got to do is get some earned media, sell some ads if you're in the market, uh, get you all to subscribe, hold my first event, I have a few ideas percolating, and then scaling this to other cities, Philadelphia, San Francisco, other cities with a strong food culture, and either become part of or build an ad network, uh, and then eventually sell to a strategic partner. So if you're interested in food, spread the word. If you've got a good story, there's something I should know about, something I should write about, uh, hit me up. Sign up, please, and give me your feedback.